Not the same type of team they've been in years past with a couple guys inside. They go inside every play. They've got guards that can really shoot it. Every game this year but one. Kobe White missed one game with an ankle injury. Otherwise, it's been the same five all season long, including the grad transfer, Cam Johnson, who knocks one down. Great matchup between a great defender and a great offensive player. Kristen Cunningham shut off by Garrison Brooks, trapped in the corner but gets out of it and finds Dwayne Sutton. It's afraid to take a three-pointer for Louisville. Actually, they're more proficient from the perimeter than they are in the post. And on cue, Williams knocks it down. Will beat Carolina by 21 in Chapel Hill in January. And in some ways, as Johnson lays it in, in some ways that score almost flattered the heels. We're seeing uh, this from a North Carolina team. Not that they hadn't had lulls in a game or maybe in a half, but that for 40 minutes you couldn't really find anything good from an effort perspective number one seed going into the NCAA tournament. I think right now they have one. Somebody's got to take it away from them. That's the way I look at it. I mean, they played among the toughest schedules in the country. Three top five teams in the ACC and all are still alive. Of course, this is Carolina's debut in this tournament. Duke still to come against Syracuse tonight. Virginia already into the semis as Garrison Brooks ties it up. He's such an outstanding position defender and really talks. There he comes over to block the shot. Wow, aggressive attempt at a dunk there by Quan Four. Last year, 10 players played today. All 10 scored. They've got length. They've got size. They've got depth. Kobe White's got the basketball, and he's going to lay it in to put the heels back on top. Kobe White for three. He needs to get something going against Louisville. He, he has not scored effectively against Louisville this year. And Johnson, offensive rebound, turns into a three. Even Enoch in off the bench. The transfer from UConn with a soft touch on a jump hook. Big body, athletic, and extremely talented. How easy is that? Look at this. Who can't get it to go, and here comes Carolina again. And nobody turns and faces the guy with the ball, Kobe White. In the lane, his hair arrived two counts later. <laughs> he is so good and just getting better. Had Look at that hair. That is, is magnificent. What a national treasure. Have to sprint back every single time. This time it's Louisville getting the ball down the court in a hurry. Nice look from Cunningham into Eno. And there was no goalie. Anytime you have two trapping, you're going to have two interceptors. And then Nasir Little needed to be the goalie there and protect the goal. Just didn't do that. He needed to come off V.J. King. And Enoch had one of his best games of the season in the win over the heels in Chapel Hill. 17 points, 11 rebounds. And again, just the tremendous speed off the bounce by Kobe White. Throughout the course of the season, one of the best point guards in the country. Jordan Wara named the most improved player in the ACC with a bucket. And there's Nasir Little. Again, Carolina's transition offense. It's information about how the committee works and what they're actually doing as opposed to what they may do. And, uh, and it's amazing to me that they're still kind of watching games. And Robinson, the junior from Douglasville, Georgia, in off the bench, and he knocks down the threes. Had a very good year shooting the three. And Carolina, this may be Roy Williams' best three-point shooting team since he's come back to Chapel Hill. As North Carolina scored the ball in the offensive end, they are giving up a lot of easy baskets. They've turned over Louisville, but when they haven't turned them over, it has been easy for Louisville to score. Darius Perry has come in for Louisville. He's guarding Kobe White, who did that last time down the floor, and he slowed him down to a certain extent. Nice look from King, and the three is there for Sutton. Man a miss. That's his specialty, of course, knocking down the three. And now again, Carolina in transition. Andrew Playtech into the game, and he'll pick up an assist on a baseline jumper from Luke May. In traffic by Little. If McMahon catches it and shoots it right away from the spot he caught it, it's a defensive mistake. May unguarded down low as again Louisville can't get set defensively. And Louisville's not been able to get back. They've not stopped the ball and they've given up a lot of easy shots. Off balance three wow. and it goes for Jordan Wara. Scoring output last year. Let's go to Allison Williams. Well, Dan, Jay mentioned the easy shots for North Carolina, and that's what Louisville was talking about in the last time out. Only player with two fouls so far is Kristen Cunningham, the starting point guard for Louisville, who went to the bench a couple of minutes ago as Jordan Wara scores again. Now Johnson with a huge height advantage on Ryan McMahon, but he can't take advantage. Hey, Louisville starting to fight back defensively. Nice look. Perry to Sutton. And Perry was running back over half court. Louisville's got a very good feeling right now. Toby White will try to slow Louisville's roll just a little bit. Missed three by Sutton. 
Carolina has missed some point blank shots. Turn around, Cam Johnson. How many different ways can he hurt you? Well, Jordan War was just wide open on a cut to the basket, and they missed him. And then his shoe fell off. He just put it back on. And meanwhile, a bucket for VJ King. And that was a horrible shot. White with a step back three. Johnson lays it in. Cam Johnson already with 14 points. The switch and now VJ King on Kobe White. Johnson dumps it down to May. Jump hook, yes. I've worked with you long enough. <laughs> Malik Williams posting on Brooks. Left hand, and it goes. And really the start of this year. Good pass inside. Brooks yep. kicks it right back out and gets it back. Yeah, he needs to go right into a move, which he does. Spins around Williams. See if Louisville can get Jordan Wara going. Their leading score, three for seven, seven points. Instead, it's a pull up from Cunningham. But let's keep in mind that he didn't play all that much in the first half. Sit it back out to Williams. Still plenty of time. White spinning off balance. Forces up a prayer, and the prayer is answered. Well, Louisville's been able to shut him off a couple times, but they're not going to be able to do it three. Nice screen for the screener action. For the kick, Sutton the three, got it. Off the rebound, and Louisville can get it back into single digits. Well, Kenny Williams hasn't been able to find the range on his jump shot. He shot the ball so well against Duke. What a move by Cunningham. Sharing the ball, one of the top assist teams in the country. Better than 19 assists per game this year. Little, not his specialty, but he'll knock down a three. So the, the playing time issues he's had has been a result of defense, not offense. He's still trying to figure out all the things you have to learn as a defender in the North Carolina system. Boy, the first guy you might notice is Enoch. I mean, he is huge. He is smooth. He looks like a pro. He's got such skill. Luke May's got some skill himself. Mayheim has shot 40% from three-point range in ACC games and is really playing with a ton of confidence. Good help by Nasir Little to get back out. What a bounce for Darius Perry. Cunningham. What a feed into Williams. It's a six-point game. Low cross, good switch by Louisville to stop that cross screen. Brooks double team down low, still gets it to go, and a chance for a three-point play. They can sneak in as an at-large. Not gonna happen. King driving, got May in the air, and will knock it down. He has not shot the ball well all season long. Really had some confidence issues, but he's really done a good job taking the ball to the basket, as Luke May did just there. Almost took that ball away. Good strength by Stephen Enoch to keep a hold of the ball and finish it. Brandon Robinson buries a three. Because it'll likely be called. Enoch double teamed and muscles it up and in. 3% from three. I think that's his 19th or 20th three. And two for two tonight. Enoch will return the favor at the other end. Effort by V.J. King on the glass. Right over the top of Brandon Robinson. Trying to get the shot off, and he does. What a sequence for King. Go down, they'll call a charge every time. Good hedge there by Enoch. Johnson into Manley. Well, just really good execution on the secondary break by North Carolina. Perry. Ball's loose, and it belongs to the heels. May, another nice look ahead. Robinson to Williams for two more. May takes it away, ahead to White. And what a job by Perry coming back to steal it and staying in bounds. Walk the tightrope. Keeps the dribble alive. May a block. Williams. And May with the easy putback to give Carolina its largest lead of the night. And the rebound down to Carolina. Now, I think Enoch was worried about picking up another foul. A block there for Sutton on the drive by Williams. Two, you would think. Virginia, I would think, is locked as a one. Duke right now on uh, Joey Brackett's two line, but obviously they could get back on the one. we got three of the best teams in the country here. How did that count if uh, Duke or Carolina, either Duke or Carolina? I just don't see that. But, you know, may, look, maybe it's hard for the committee to give you know, three number ones to one conference. Perry, tough shot. 11-point game. And many of them will probably be sticking around to root against Duke and for Syracuse in the second game tonight. 
as the coaches shake hands at the end of the game. Carolina's on to the semis. 